Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I am here to share my um, most recent athletic or active wear sewing spree that I've done. So my basically my newish lookbook. So I've got other obviously other active wear in my wardrobe, but this is the new stuff that I've made. All of this, you know, color coordinates and stuff with the stuff I already have. Um, I actually shared that in a video um, a while back. Um, I can link up to that video up here uh, for you all if you're interested in seeing what my um, me made active, uh, active wear looked like before this um, or the pieces that I'm adding this to. Anyway, before we get into that, today is Friday, which means we have a Love Notions Feature Friday pattern. And today it is the Forte Top and Dress. Folks, this is a knit top that really, um, if you follow along with everyday style, she's always talking about beyond basics. So like, you know, a t-shirt would be a basic knit top. A beyond basic knit top is something that's got like maybe an interesting neckline or an interesting sleeve or some detail on it that makes it a little beyond basic. Um, I would definitely classify the Forte as a beyond basic knit tee. I've made it um, with the little ruffle sleeves and a cream. I thought I had ruined that with, um, I think I thought I got makeup on it and it wasn't coming out, but I think I have since gotten that stain out. So it is still in my wardrobe. Perfect top to wear for spring and summer. Um, but obviously there are dress options, a whole bunch of options for tops and dresses in this pattern. So um, definitely recommend this one. $5 today only. The code 10TOMCAT is going to get you an additional 10% off that sale price. So if you don't have this one in your catalog, today is a fantastic day to grab that. And if you're intimidated about sewing with knits, maybe you want to sew the Forte or whatever knit pattern and you're a little nervous about it, guys, um, I have my, um, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> my class. <laughs> It's been a long week, folks. Um, my Knit Sewing Essentials T-shirts and Beyond class is just been released, and it is still on release sale. Um, that ends on Monday night at midnight, so you want to grab it now. You're going to use the code TKSNET for your 20% off that price um, for the Knit Sewing Essentials. There's no dates for this class. It is a digital class, so once you buy it, you have access to it for life, and um, as well as any updates that I happen to make. I, I don't know if I do have any updates or anything that I make to the class down the road, you have access to all of that as well. So um, wonderful if you are figuring out knits, learning to sew with knits, also with active wear. Um, I go through making a t-shirt from start to finish, but um, it, the t-shirt is the building blocks for all other knit sewing. Um, so this is kind of the first step I do all the tips and tricks. We talk about fabric. We talk about stretch percentage. I show you how to do all of the knit sewing techniques on a sewing machine, on a serger, and on a cover stitch machine. So all the machines are covered. No matter what you've got access to, um, you'll be able to sew successfully with knits as well. So you're going to want to grab that now um, while it is on sale. Okay. Let's talk about activewear. And I have two new pieces of fabric that arrived um, that I'll talk you through as well. So it's a little bit of a fabric haul as well. All right, I have made eight pieces, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight pieces. I've been very busy. Although to be fair, this type of sewing, especially, I mean, if, if you do sew with knits, so much quicker than sewing with wovens. This one was a little more involved. This make was a little more involved. Um, but the rest of this went together a lickety split. And I have recently started, finally, using my projector. I'm still very much a student on this. Very, very much a student on projector sewing, but I'm hooked. And I will be doing a video a little bit about, you know, some things that I have learned um, as I literally just dove in to get started. Um, I can do one adjustment on um, uh, the computer to do like a to do it digitally to the pattern digitally so I can project out an alter pattern. And that is lengthening and shortening things. <laughs> I've figured out how to do that. Um, that is it. So I don't know how to do full bust adjustments digitally yet or, or really anything else. Just I can lengthen and shorten things. So I guess that means I could do like forward shoulder adjustments probably. Um, but anyway, um, that that is all I know how to do right now. So <laughs> and maybe I don't know, maybe I can figure it out. I haven't played with it that much, but I cut out all of these things, all of these things with my projector. So I didn't print off any patterns and I did all the adjustments I needed digitally. Um, but I did pick patterns that I only needed to do lengthening and shortening on. So, um, a little caveat there, but 
these cut out super quickly and then sewed together really quickly as well. So it's not as time intensive as it may appear here on the rack. All right, let's go through all these pieces. We will start with the first thing. This is the thing that I made first. Actually, this is the very first thing I cut out using my projector. This is the Green Styles Reef, um, is it called Buddy Pullover? I can't remember. It's the Reef from Green Style. Um, Leah Wink, who is a sewist on uh, Instagram, she was actually the um, pattern designer for this. So for Green Style, but she's the one that did this. And it is an exact dupe of the Lululemon Scuba, um, you know, court or half zip or hoodie. It comes with the hood option, um, as well as obviously the collar option. It is an exact dupe for that. And I was so excited and grabbed this right away. Very impressed with the drafting on this and um, really impressed the instructions. I think there's a sew along that goes along with it and everything. So she's got a lot of really fun details. So it's got like this little um, like zipper stop thing here up at the top. And then it's got a little piece down here that covers up the zipper stop really beautifully. Um, I've got the kangaroo. I've, obviously, I did the half zip. It's got a um, zipper guard here in the back. Um, I wish my zipper matched better, but, you know, I was working with what I had. That was the best I could do. I ordered a whole bunch of orange zippers. That was the best I could do, and I think it's fine. Um, I did the kangaroo pocket on the front, and the pockets are even faced. Um, it's got some interesting seam lines here on the back, and then it's got these really cool design details, if you can see, um, kind of here at the um, side front. Um, I made, there, there's no full bust adjustment on this, although it's got plenty of ease in it. Um, I made the size F, G. I think I decided to size up to the G, um, because I, technically my upper bust puts me into the F, but because there's no full bust adjustment on this, is there? Now I'm second guessing myself, because I did just cut out a pattern where I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a full bust front. There may be a full bust front with this. Oh, folks, I will put down here if there is or not. I Now I can't remember. Um, but I think I... Now I think there is a full bust front, and I cut out the F because there is a full bust front. I will, I will put that <laughs> down here. Um, this was the first thing I sewed. It's been just a hot minute. I should have looked that before I started filming. Um, the fabric, though, is from Green Style. It is their French Terry. I've just heard really good things about it with the matching ribbing. Um, so I wanted to try it. So when I bought the pattern, I also bought the fabric for this. I have a little bit left over that I could probably um, do something. I probably could get like a pair of like real loose fitting comfy shorts out of it. Um, that's probably all about I could do, you know, maybe some color blocking or something. If I was you know, making another one of these, I could do some fun color blocking, which would be a lot of fun. Anyway, really love this pattern. It really is a dupe of the Lululemon um, uh, sweatshirt because my sister loves these things and has them in a ton of colors from Lululemon. So I've actually seen them up close and personal. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Love it. So that was the first thing I made. This was a more involved make. Again, the instructions are really good and there is an online sew along that goes with that. But um, yeah, I was excited about this. Although as I was making it, I'm like, it's starting to get warmer here. Like, when am I going to wear this? Maybe not until the fall. Um, we may get a few more cool mornings where I want to wear it to the gym. Uh, but for the most part, I have not been wearing any kind of sweatshirt or quarter zip or anything to the gym the past few mornings because it's just been warm. And then I'm definitely too hot to put it on when I leave because I've worked out then. Um, okay, I made two tops. Um... I was going to do a couple of different options, but really when it came down to it, I was like, I really just need a basic t-shirt, but I didn't want it fitted. I wanted something roomier. And the Love Notions Classic Tee is a roomier fit tee, especially I do the full bust front on this. So this is the medium with the full bust front. Um, and that gives you also not only the extra room at the bust, but also at the waist and hips. It's all the way down. Um, so I knew that this wouldn't, it wouldn't cling to my midsection, which, you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, it is what it is. But at the gym, when I'm like moving and, and working out, um, I kind of like a little bit more roominess in my gym clothes or in my tops, at least. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the fitted like tanks either. So I'll probably be looking for like a looser tank as well when it starts to get a little bit warmer, which it is doing. Uh, but this worked fantastically for the t-shirt pattern. Again, Love Notions Classic Tee. 
I did shorten it one inch at the waist, so I brought the waist up an inch, which I have to do on all Love Notions patterns, and I did it digitally, and it was very exciting. <laughs> I did the scoop neck, and I think that works well. Um, this is an athletic, what's it called? Um, athletic, I'll link the fabric um, down below. It's from Amanda's Bundles. Very impressed with this. It almost feels like an athletic double brush poly a little bit. Um, I've sewn with some of that before for my, making leggings for my daughter. And it kind of feels like that a little bit to me. I have not worked out in any of this stuff yet, so I could not speak to the wicking of all of these items yet. Um, but I have a feeling they're going to be good. Um, anyway, especially when things are notated as athletic knits, they're often breathable and comfortable to wear at the gym. So I will report back once I've worn them to the gym a few times. Um, but I love how this turned out. Very high visibility. Uh, I bought this in a bundle, Amanda's Bundles. Hence, <laughs> bundle. And I think it's a two-yard bundle. I have plenty of this left over. And I am going to be making the um, also Green Style Creations, also designed by Leah Wink. But her trail jacket that she just released, I also grabbed that. Because I think it would make a great high-vis um, jacket to wear. Again, probably not now, but definitely when the weather starts to cool down again. Um, if I'm walking in the mornings or at night um, or dusk, you know dawn and dusk when it's when it's just a little harder to see a great high biz um little jacket and i really like it paired with the olive green and i've got some of that left too so i thought that would be also fun to kind of uh, put together i could totally do leggings out of this it is thick enough um but i don't know that i need highlighter yellow um or green leggings <laughs> But we'll see. I may make myself a pair of shorts. I, that feels like less of a commitment. And again, I've got plenty of it left over, so we'll see. But this feels wonderful, and I love it as a t-shirt. Um, we'll see if I uh, end up making sh myself shorts, because I really do like the short pattern that I tried. Um, and then this is my second Love Notions Classic Tee. Uh, this is done in a uh, merino nylon blend from the fabric store. I've had this in my stash for a long time, so I know they don't have this exact fabric anymore, but the fabric store down in New Zealand, they do carry um, pretty much all the time some at active wear fabrics, and they almost always have a merino nylon blend. Um, merino is naturally wicking and antimicrobial, so it helps you not to stink, and it's very comfortable to wear. Um, anyway, so I know that I, and I've sewn, and some of my other active wear is in the similar fabric and it is very comfortable to wear. So I know this one's gonna be no problem and it's a fun color. <laughs> I like to be bright, you guys know that. All right, so those were all the tops that I've made. And then I made myself five bottoms, um, three leggings and two pairs of shorts. And it, I had only planned on making leggings and then I got to thinking I'm gonna need some shorts for the gym. Like it's gonna get stuffy, like as the, you know, even though it's air conditioned and all that kind of stuff, as it gets warm, it's gonna get stuffy. It's a large building. Climate control is tough in larger buildings, um, so I know that that's going to happen. Um, so I decided to make myself some shorts out of some of the leftover fabric of these other two, and I love how they turned out. So I made myself the um, Green Style uh, Stride Leggings, and this is the pattern that I've used for my other two pairs of leggings that are in my uh, workout leggings that are in my wardrobe. So I already knew that I loved the pattern, and I just cut it off. It has a shorts um, cutting line. So I just went ahead and cut it off at the shorts cutting line. And I was a little worried that the inseam would be a little too short when I'm looking at them. But with the vertical stretch and stuff, it actually works out perfectly. Again, I haven't worked out in these yet, so I'll let you know how that goes. But I really like the length of these on my leg. It hits me like right at mid-thigh, which is below the fullness of my thigh. So I don't think they're going to ride up on me, but I will report back. So I made this one pair. Um, this is also from Amanda's Bundles. It's olive green, if you can't tell. Um, but this is Supplex. So um, Supplex is actually the activewear knit that Lululemon uses, um, Athleta. They all use it for their, um, their popular leggings. They probably use other fabrics for some like, I know that they had like a rib knit pair and stuff like that. But for their traditional, original leggings, Supplex is the fabric. Um, it feels fantastic on, and I absolutely love it. Um, I made the higher um, rise on with the waistband. There's a mid-rise option and a high-rise option. These do come up high, and I probably would have been fine with the mid-rise option, but I really like stuff to come up high with my leggings because um, when I'm sitting and, and stuff at, at the machines and at the weights and stuff, I hate when things roll down. So I once need it to be like above my waist in order for things to stay nice and snug. I, it's just my preference. 
Um, anyway, so I did the higher um, waistband on this and I just feel a little bit more sucked in and comfortable. Absolutely love these. I made the F, the size F in these. And then this is my second pair that I made in my red. I'm so glad I bought this. This is also from Amanda's Bundles. Um, got it at the Sew Expo as well as this fabric and this fabric all come from the Sew Expo. Um, I think she's going to be in Cleveland. I'm very excited to pop on her booth again when we go to that Sew Expo. Um, actually, while you're watching this, I am there. Um, anyway, made another pair of shorts in the red. This is the same um, I can't remember what she calls it. Again, I'll link it down below. If they don't have this color, I'll link what the fabric is down below. Um, it's the same as this, but in red. In fact, it's got a little bit of striation in it, but it's not as, it's not like as, um, color very variegated as this color is. It's, it feels a little bit more matte color, but I can see a little bit in there. Um, but it's the same fabric as this. So comfortable on, absolutely love these. You know how I feel about red. I have a ton of tops, um, you know, I've got it paired with this, but I've got a ton of tops upstairs that I can um, put with this uh, to wear and be comfortable in for the gym. And then I finally made three pairs of leggings. My first pair of leggings, these are uh, the stride leggings, again, with the higher rise. This is the size F. Um, this fabric, I bought this at Surge Fabrics, I think, quite a while ago. It's their quad performance. Guys, as I'm looking at it, I think I cut it out. No, I didn't. No, we're good. Okay. It, it's just a little bit, um, this fabric is a little, it's stretchy, and I've got the stretch that I need for the pattern. It's just a little thicker. So it's a little harder to get on, but not on once it's on it's hard to get on over my feet I had a really hard time stretching this to get it on up over my feet once it was on my body it pulled up fine I mean just like the other ones they're very fitted obviously um so it's kind of like putting on tights where you're like adjusting the um length and stuff along your leg uh, but I had a hard time getting these on over my feet I'm also a little concerned that these are gonna that these I'm gonna look naked <laughs> now, Jenny pointed out, she's like, but that's not your skin tone. And it's not my skin tone, but it is a skin tone. And I, I'm just worried that from afar, you know, if someone's not looking closely at me, it's going to be one of those where you're like, oh my gosh, is that lady naked? <laughs> Until you look and then you're like, no, that she just has on um, a skin colored. I don't know. What do you all think? I like the way, I mean, they fit fine. Um, the stride leggings I love. The fabric is fantastic. I'm just a little worried about the color. So let me know what you think, or if you think it's fine, it looks like, you know, khaki pants. It's far enough away from your own, from my own skin tone that it's probably fine, um, which I'm hoping. <laughs> but anyway, that is another pair of leggings. And then again, in the um, green supplex, I decided I did a different pattern for this just for some variety. Um, but also, I wanted to play around with the Helen's Closet Avery leggings. Those, they're just a very simple legging pattern. Um, there, It's one piece that you cut out twice, and then you cut out the waistband. Um, two, two outer and two, or no, maybe it's two fronts and two backs um, for the waistband. So they, and there's a gusset. Oh, there's a gusset in all of these. All of these shorts and pants have a gusset at the bottom instead of, um, so you don't get camel toe. It doesn't ride up the front, but it also gives you so much better range of motion. So when you are doing yoga or stretching or any of that kind of stuff, a gusset gives you so much better range of motion and um, you're not going to split anything. So that is my absolute, since making leggings with gussets, that's the only type of legging I will now wear. <laughs> um, Anyway, that these all bottoms have those gussets. Anyway, it's a very quick pattern to make, but it has no side seams, so it makes it perfect for prints. And um, I had ordered this print, which we'll talk about in a second, so I wanted to try this out. I made view B, and um, I did shorten it an inch, and looking back, once I tried these on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think view B, why it's the higher rise um, waistband. She has two different heights of waistbands, um, and I did want the higher rise, even though I'm like, this is totally going to come up to like my boobs, but I'm absolutely fine with that. And, um, I should have cut it at the A because I'm pretty sure that view B is meant to be long and kind of like puddle at your, um, like have some excess length at your ankle and view A is like ankle length, like it cuts off at your ankle and that's what I meant to do. So 
and I didn't. So these are a little bit long and they puddle at my ankle. I'm not totally crazy about that. Could I go back in and cut that off and rehem them? Absolutely. Will I do that? I don't know. Jury's out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I, they're very comfortable. This suplex is lovely. I will get a ton of wear out of these. And then my final pair are, again, this red um, active, active, active wear net, um, athletic net, um, again, from Amanda's Bundles. It's the same fabric as the shorts. Also in the Avery leggings, same thing, the higher rise. I made the size 10, 12 in the two pairs of Avery leggings and shortened them by an inch, um, but I should have made view A. <laughs> That's the shorter hem, but it's fine. Um, it's absolutely fine. Love these. These make me happy. I'm glad to finally have a pair of red leggings in my workout wardrobe, and I'm glad I bought it. So there we have it. Those are all of my new pieces that I have now added to my activewear wardrobe. But I also grabbed, um, from Green Style, two fabrics. I grabbed, and for there's a reason. I grabbed this navy, and it's called the Arete, I think. Um, but it's, what I like about Green Style is that when you're looking at some of their patterns, there's a link that says, you know, buy your fabric here. So then you can see exactly like, okay, this fabric is meant for leggings, which I think is super helpful. Um, so I bought the navy and the arete, and then also this um, floral print, because, I'll show this up to you. Isn't that pretty? My son, there is a golfing brand called Good Good. They are YouTube guys that then made it big and um, started their own golf. Um, gosh, they make clothes, they make putters, they make all sorts of stuff. He loves them. He was a big fan of the YouTube channel before they even had the clothing line and stuff, but they're expensive. And they have got a quarter zip that is solid, but then on the inside of the, so it's got like the stand-up collar, but on the inside of the collar, it's got a patterned fabric on it. And he wanted something like that and asked if I could make him something. Of course. So I am making him a navy blue um, quarter zip, and we are going to do the floral, and we're going to pick out a piece that's very colorful for the inside of that collar. I asked him, I said, do you mind if I buy extra for myself? I mean, he's like, and he was like, no, that's fine. Like, it's navy, and he's like, and no one's, I mean, it's the inside of the collar. Like, if you wanted to completely deck out in the floral, that's fine. So um, I bought this for more active wear, but then I got to thinking, I think I'm going to make myself some golf stuff with this. Um, I think this would make the cutest golfing skirt, and, um, and then I just bought a lot of the navy because it's navy and um, it's a really nice active wear knit. So I'm sure I'll end up making myself more leggings or something out of this at some point. Um, but it could also be a good, you know, for like a little polo shirt to go with the little skirt or... Um, something along those lines, and then I could probably color block with it. Anyway, I just really liked this print, so I think I bought two yards of this, and I bought three of the navy, because uh, again, I want to be able to get the quarter zip out for him. He'll need very little of this for the inside of the collar, um, so this is really mostly for me. <laughs> you have to buy at least a yard, though, so I thought, well, I might as well go ahead and buy two, and then um, I've got stuff for myself. So I think this is going to become golf wear for myself, um, and I... Because I get a lot of questions on that, on do I make my golf wear, and I do. So um, I will do a video, a separate video on um, golf and patterns I use, things I've made, um, what I enjoy, all that kind of stuff um, for a different video. So hang tight on that. All right, guys, that is it. These are the new pieces of activewear that I'm adding to my own wardrobe. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget, if you're interested in my knit class, um, you want to grab it while the coupon is still good. So TKS Knit to get you 20% off that for release week. Um, and I think that's it. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, I'm in Cleveland as you're watching this at the Sew Expo, so I'm sure I'm having a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you guys get some sewing in or are surrounded by beautiful sewing things as I will be. And I will see you guys again on Tuesday. Bye.